Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm Franz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up, and today I'm going to show you a very quick card. Uh, I had shared this card on the blog up, it was about masking, and I had done just a picture for instruction, while many say they wanted the video out to sponge, they got uh, trouble sponging. Well, I'm going to show you uh, this card, but we're going to put a few more um, goose there. So this is on a note card. We, it come pre-score, so just make sure it's straight there. And I had a bone folder here. We're going to start by stamping our goose. And we're going to do three of them. So um, we're going to do the first one. Let me remove this. And when I talk about uh, masking, when you uh, pre-cut, uh, we're going to put that right here. When we pre-cut our post-it note, I like to use post-it note. Save them in your um, case, in your stamp case. So next time you need to mask something, you don't have to do this step again. So this is just post-it note you can use. I wouldn't use cardstock because cardstock, it's thicker and it leave an edge that it's not stamped. So like copy paper, post-it note are perfect. Now I have to cover this because if I don't cover it, here we go, and I'm stamping what stays on. If I stamp one there and then I come back here and I stamp again, see the body go inside on top, it's not working properly. So now, yes, <clears throat> some parts gonna be on top, but you cannot have both together, right? So this one's gonna be in the back of this. I'm gonna put this one a little bit lower. Here we go, and like I said, we're gonna do three of them. So I'm gonna use another one here. And I should have split it more in one in the center, like in the back. But oh, this one's gonna look like that. Here we go. And now I'm gonna put another one right here. So now if I remove this, see they all lined up perfectly. One thing this one didn't went just right there. If that happened, just use um a pen uh, like your um black marker and just finish it a little bit so now i'm going to make sure this is dry and we're going to cover all three of them to do our sponging so i'm going to put that there so i'm going to cover one because i don't want them blue or green or so here we go here's another one and I forgot my, uh, oops, marker. I'm gonna go get that. Here we go, and here's another one. Let me um, grab two markers here. Be right back. Okay, now we're gonna start with the bottom. I'm going to do um, Pierre Pizzazz. And the trick when it comes to stamp uh, sponging, go on this on your scrap paper first. I'm going to hold this here so the legs don't move on me. And when it's grass, see I go down. I don't go in round motion. I'm going down like for the grass. Here we go. And see, I get different tone because I keep on coming back. Make sure I get under here. Now that looked pretty good to me. I'm going to use a little bit of crumb cake, and I mean a little bit. So I'm going to put a little bit of crumb cake here. So I get some... Um, some dirt between the water and the grass too. And I can put a little bit right here. So you can add wherever you want. I'm gonna call this good. Now we're gonna do the sky. 
and you see I like to open my card when I do the edge there and here I like to close my card so I go right at the edge okay I better move that so I don't mix my color now we're going to do the sky And a lot of time we ju judge our card before it's done, and that's the problem. I think if you take the time to finish the card, you're going to be amazed how it looks when it's all done. So this can be the sky or the water, whatever you call it. Here we go. So that it's done. Let's remove our masking and see if we need to add something. Okay, here I was off a bit. We're going to fix that. This one is correct. That one is pretty good. So what I want to do is take this here. And that's why it's important when you cut, you cut right on the line. You don't want to leave some extra. Here we go. That should do it. Absolutely. See, now we get our three uh, um, goose. I'm going to put um, thinking of you. And that I'm going to use. And uh, I just got crumb cake here, but I want something darker. So I will use soft suede. Here we go. And usually I would put my greeting on the right side, but I didn't think about when I stamped my first one. So this time, I'm going to put my greeting right here. Voila. And we're going to use some of the wheat or grass there. And that's going to be stamped with um, crumb cake. Though I just want very light. And let me cover this goose here because it's going to be kind of in the back of the goose. That could touch the goose too, you know, if, but this is going to be like in the back of it. And then I'm going to cover the other one because I just want a little bit in the back. So let's do, cover this up here. Make sure the cover is big. Okay, I'm going to put some right there. So it's in the back, it's not in the front. And now when I remove it, you see it looks like it's in the back, it's not in the front. Now I'm going to stamp off, put some right there, stamp off. So you can have different color, you know, if you stamp off, stamp on, you get different color. Et voila. See? Now we're going to color our, um, our goose. And that I just add a little bit. I'm using a Sarah sand here. And I just did a little bit where it's already kind of shading there. I just add a little bit keep the um, the breast here right here um, white and then the head's going to stay white just going to add a little bit darker there here we go and then if you want you can take maybe a little bit of crumb cake and just Shading a little bit here. Here we go. That is it, my friends. So you saw how easy it is to do. Uh, you can have many of them. You just keep on cover them so they don't overlap on each other. So right now this look like this one is the 
in the front but see it's all and I could have put this one stamped this one first and then cover so that one would have look in the back so this one it's more front more front this one it's more in the back so let me show you three of them going in the other direction I won't do the sponging but let me show you three of them so what I'm saying you can do your first stamping so I'm going to do my first stamping the full one. So this one going to look like is in the front completely. Now I'm going to cover this. So you're going to see both direction here. I will finish this card and have it on my blog. So you can go at Frenchie Stamp. Right above you get the link for this blog post. Now I'm going to put another one right here. I think my paper moved but we still got it good. Now I'm going to cover this one. Here we go. And this one I'm going to put it lower. So now you're going to see the difference here. Well, if I can remove this, close this. Okay, so now you see the difference. This one, it's completely in the front. See, you get the full body more in the back. This one, it's more in the back. It keep on going in the back. And this one, it's the other way around. This one, it's in the front. See? So yes, it's okay to have the tail there, but you don't have the body going on top of the tail. Do you see that? So this is it for the masking and the sponging. Hope this helped you. And again, for all your stamping a product and uh, more detail, the supplies and that, just above you get the high or below in the description, you're going to have the, um, the direct link to go at the blog post. Thank you so much and have a lovely day, my friends.